Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have n to the power of 6 equals to n minus 2 and its whole power 6. So now we solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first step we are going to do is here, first we rewrite this equation as and uh, uh, now we move first this term in the left hand side and we write it as n to the power of 6 minus n minus 2 to the power of 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step we have n to the power of 6 and we write it as uh, n cubed and its whole square minus we write this term as n minus 2 cubed and its whole square equals to 0. So in the next step we use here the nice uh, square identity and we know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So now we use this nice identity in the left hand side of this equation and we write this equation as n cubed minus n minus 2 cubed into n cubed plus n minus 2 cubed and this whole equal to 0. So in the next step uh, we convert this in two cases. So our first case is we take n cubed minus n minus 2 cubed equals to 0 and we take the other term n cubed plus n minus 2 cubed equals to 0. And we call this as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So now we solve these two equations one by one. So here first we focus on equation number 1. And in equation number 1 uh, we use here uh, the nice cubic formula and we know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So here we use uh, this nice formula in the equation number 1. So our equation number 1 will be written as n minus n minus 2 times of uh, n squared plus a b. So our a is n and b is n minus 2 and b square. So our b is n minus 2 square and this whole equals to 0. So now uh, we need a uh, little bit simplifications here. So now we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and we write it as n minus n plus 2 times of uh, n square plus we multiply the sign on both of these terms and we get n square minus 2n and now we open the square of this term and we get n square plus 4 minus 4n equals to 0. So now uh, here we just uh, take some simplification and now uh, we need more simplification and we have this negative and positive term are gone and we get here 2 into here we have n square plus n square plus n square equals to 3 times of n square and we have minus 2n minus 4n equals to minus 6n and we get plus 4 equals to 0. So here uh, we move. Uh, this 2 to the right hand side and we easily get here over 3 times of n square minus 6n plus 4 equals to 0. So now we get um, this is an quadratic equation. Uh, so we solve this equation by using the quadratic formula. So that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 3 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 4. So these are the coefficients of above equation and our quadratic formula will be looks like in this form n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our nice quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula and we have b is minus 6 so we substitute it here and we get minus times of minus 6 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 6 and minus 6 square becomes 36 and we have minus 4 times of ac our a is 3 and c is 2 so 
four times of three becomes twelve and twelve fours are forty eight so it will becomes minus forty eight divided by two so now over oh, here we need some simplification and we get uh, six plus minus square root of uh, thirty six minus forty eight uh, equals to minus twelve divided by two so here we uh, write this minus twelve as uh, 6 plus minus 4 times of 3 and we know that if we have negative sign inside the uh, square root so it will be equals to iota and this whole divided by 2. So in the next step uh, we have our n equals to 6 plus minus we know that square root of 4 becomes 2 times of square root of 3 into iota then we separate the fraction and we write this 2 and 2 both of these terms. So here we get 2 3 is a 6 and we get our n equals to 3 plus minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get square root of 3 into iota. So these are the first two complex roots of the given equation and now in order to uh, find the other roots we focus on equation number 2. So here we have equation number 2. So now we, we first copy down the equation number 2. So our equation number 2 is n cubed plus n minus 2 cubed equals to 0. So here we use this nice cubic formula a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So uh, we apply this nice formula uh, to the above term and uh, we write our above term as um, n plus n minus 2 times of n square minus a b so our a is n and b is n minus 2 and plus b square so our b is n minus 2 square and this whole equals to 0. So in the next step uh, we add these two terms and we get 2 n minus 2 into we have n square and we multiply this minus n to both of these terms and we get minus n square plus 2n plus we open the square of this term and we get n square plus 4 minus 4n and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we need some simplification and the simplifications are 2n minus 2 into we have this positive and negative term are gone and we get n square and 2n minus 4n equals to minus 2n and this plus 4 equals to 0. So here we have two cases. The first case is uh, we take this 2n minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write n square minus 2n plus 4 equals to 0. So in the first case we easily get the value of n equals to 1. So this is the third root of the given equation and now in order to find other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 4. And here we again use the quadratic formula and our quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a. And now we substitute all these values here and we get mm, minus 2. So this is also minus and it will become plus 2 and plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 2 and minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 times of a c equals to 16 divided by 2. So here we need simplification and we get 2 plus minus square root of minus 12 over 2. So we write this minus 12 as 4 times of 3 and we know that uh, minus sign inside the square root equals to iota and this whole divided by 2. So we write it as 2 plus minus uh, we know that square root of 4 is 2 times of square root of 3 and here we separate this fraction and we write in this form. So this 2 and 2 are gone, this 2 and 2 are gone and we get the other complex roots of the given equation are 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.